good afternoon students i am dr k uma mageshwari assistant professor pg and research department of commerce now let us see the subject marketing management today we are going to deal meaning and definition of product futures of product new product development product life cycle and finally reasons for product failure now let us see the meaning and definition of product there are four important p's that is namely product price place and the promotion in that product is the first and basic element of a marketing mix that is it is anything offered by a firm to the market it may be an article commodity service idea or place and it is all it is one which has the capacity to satisfy our consumer needs and wants now we see the definition according to rs daver a product may be regarded from the marketing view point as bundle of benefits which are being offered to consumer now we are going to see futures of product first one tangible attributes that is the product may be touched seen and its physical presence felt that is example cycle book pencil table and so on next one intangible attributes it may be intangible in the form of service such as banking insurance or repairing services next exchange value every product whether tangible or intangible it should have an exchange value next one utility benefits another important characteristics of product is that it should have utility that is bundle of potential utility or benefits next differential features it can be differentiated from other products by means of different types of packaging and branding next one consumer satisfaction it should have the ability to deliver value satisfaction to consumers last one business need satisfaction it should also have the attribute to satisfy a business need the basic business need is to earn profit on the product sold now we are going to see new product development it includes original products improved products modified products and a new brands that the firm develops through its own research and development departments the new product includes first it create an entire new market next it allow a company to enter an established market for the first time next one it supplement a company's essential product lines it provide improved performance or greater perceived value and replace existing products next one existing products that are targeted to new markets of market segments next one new products provide similar performance at lower now let us see product life cycle what is the term mean by product life cycle products like people have a certain life length of life during which they pass through different stages for some the life cycle may be short as a month while for other it may be last for quite a sufficiently long period now we see the definition of product life cycle the product life cycle is an important concept in marketing that provides insight into a product competitive dynamics the product life cycle is an attempt to recognize distinct stages in the sales history of the product now we are going to see stages of product life cycle first stage introduction stage in this stage large bust large but budgets must be separated for promotion because it is the first time of product market meeting so word of mouth marketing is not possible even the product is so qualified the size of the budget influences the length of the product life cycle the new product does not produce profit due to cost of supply and production next stage growth stage in this stage the product is produced in the sufficient quantity and put in the market without delay 
the sales and profit curves rises often at a rapid rate here the companies begin to obtain revenue as well as competitor enter in the market in large number if the profit outlook appears to be very attractive here the price of the product can be the same at the beginning or it can be changed the cost of marketing should be stable and also have to invest for improving products features next one maturity stage during this stage sales continue to increase but at a decreasing rate next one competition increases between sellers in this stage the rivals the rivals try to reduce prices while the cost of production is falling in this way weak components opponents pull out from the market last one decline stage the rate of sales reduces visibly the reasons for the decline are technological developments and newly improved competitive products and so on at the end of the stage the companies need to know the idea of customers about product because they need that feedback system to improve their product reasons for new product failure the idea is good but the market size is overestimated the product is not well designed development costs are higher than expected competitors fight bad harder than expected social and governmental constraints costliness of the new product development process capital charges and shortened time span to completion thank you